guys, this is Chetan Focus Mode Times, and you're watching a quick speed test comparison of the Vivo's U20 with the Xiaomi's Redmi Note 7 Pro. The reason why we are considering the Redmi Note 7 Pro over the Redmi Note 8 series is because it comes with the same chipset that the Vivo U20 has now come with. So both have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 platform, which is quite a decent one for the mid-range performance for the mid-range gaming as well. And so we thought let's consider these two phones and see. Uh, which one actually is better in terms of performance although having the same chipset so is it with the RAM management is it with the uh, management or the optimization of the UI that's MIUI on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and the Fanta choice on the Vivo U20 so let's get started with the speed test comparison firstly with the boot speed test and then some apps some major or heavy apps and then with the multitasking test so here first thing that we're doing is uh, to turn on the phone that is the boot speed test to see which one actually uh, boots up faster uh, we see here at that Redmi animation logo first comes up here but then uh, it's a kind of a neck to neck uh, battle that was seen here and uh, in the end you could easily see that the Redmi Note 7 was faster in uh, booting up. So with this uh, test actually the Redmi Note 7 Pro is clearly the winner and the Vivo U20 took a bit more time or a few more seconds to uh, start up the phone. After that we moved on to start the PUBG mobile game and here these kind of games is where the multi turbo from Vivo actually kicks in and tries to make things faster by closing everything in the background giving all the uh, CPU and GPUs uh, pressure onto these kind of apps or games and here you can see that the Vivo U20 loaded the PUBG Mobile ga game faster than the Redmi Note 7 Pro. And next we moved on with the Asphalt 8 test and even in the Asphalt 8 it was actually almost the same there was no difference at all uh, even with opening the app and after that the response time it was almost the same on both of them. Initially with PUBG Mobile we saw that the storage speed or whatever to pick up the app initially that was slow on the Redmi Note 7 Pro but then on the Vivo U20 it was the same. And now let's go on to the multitasking test here. So we start with the, a few apps, uh, some of them being the regular apps, some of them being the benchmark apps and some smaller and larger games. So we have Android Benchmark, then we have Temple Run and a small games such as uh, the uh, Subway Surfers and also larger games like PUBG Mobile, Asphalt Date, all of them together only to see if the 4GB of RAM is good enough or not to handle these kind of apps and if uh, there's any issue with the RAM management, if there's issue with the storage speeds here to uh, start the app initially and uh, does it take more time.
So while everything was good at till one point, PUBG Mobile actually gave an issue with the update uh, checking and that's where the Vivo U20 actually took more time. So I won't blame the phone or the UI or anything here for that reason. Uh, it took a bit more time more than the PUBG Mobile only for the reason that it was checking for some updates and it was loading the app. Because otherwise if you see the initial uh, time when we did the uh, app opening test with the PUBG Mobile, it was uh, faster there. Here it took a few more seconds and that's where the entire uh, test got uh, delayed on the Vivo U20 and that's where you see the difference in the time between these two phones and the Super Mario Run was the last app and that's where you see the Redmi Note 7 Pro to be faster in loading Super Mario game when compared to the Vivo U20. And so these are the final times, 3 minutes and 3 seconds on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, 3 minutes and 13 seconds around this, uh, that time for the Vivo U20. And that's uh, uh, not something that I would say is uh, expected because we thought it should be neck to neck based on what they were doing and based on how fast was the app loading on each of them. So I won't say that the Redmi Note 7 Pro is a clear winner because of the fact that the PUBG Mobile game took about 8 to 10 seconds there and that is the extra time that we see in the end. So there's no reason to say that the Vivo U20 was slower with the Fun Touch OS and in the end it's almost the same and the performance is no different when we talk about the RAM management or even with the app loading or boot up speed. Where the boot up speed was faster on Redmi Note 7 Pro, the app loading such as the heavier apps such as PUBG Mobile, the individual app opening that was faster on the Vivo U20. So this was the speed test comparison of the Vivo U20 and the Redmi Note 7 Pro from Xiaomi. And this was it in this video. I hope you like this video. If you do, do share and subscribe to this button for more. Thanks for watching and see you next video.